So hey guys, today's video is going to be something completely different. I'm on my way to go get filler put in my under eye area. Now you may think, why are you doing this? I've had this orbital cavity my whole life, like ever since I was 20. And it doesn't matter how much sleep I get and it doesn't matter what skincare products I'm using. I cannot get rid of that. And it always looks like I'm tired. I'm sick of people telling me how tired I look. I just want something that's gonna maybe fix some of this. Maybe it'll help with the darkness that happens in here. I am unbelievably nervous. I'm terrified of pain and my face is super sensitive. So really this is totally outside my wheelhouse. I'm just at a place in my life now where I think if I can fix something that I don't like, I'm going to do that. If you want to see if I actually go through with it or if I totally chicken out or wuss out because of the pain, please keep on watching. So I'm in the room. Um, I have numbing cream applied under both eye, eye areas. We're gonna let that sit, I think for at least 20 minutes. Uh, we just did the one side. You can see the difference already between this one being filled in and this one not being filled in. And you can see we're just gonna add a smidge right here just to fill out that last little bit where she has the little dots. But it really didn't hurt. The numbing cream totally worked. I'm not freaked out, I'm not panicky. I haven't had to leave the room, Holly's been great. So. Um, I'm gonna film her just doing the last little bit. Put a time code up so that if you don't want to see any of the ejection part, you can fast forward. Uh, there really was minimal blood, very little, and she pats it as soon as she put it in. If you don't want to see any of the part of the needle, you can just fast forward to that part and you won't have to see it. Hey guys, I just finished the appointment and I'll be honest, it really didn't hurt. So I went to Le Sur Cosmetics. This is their little ice pack, so I can put it uh, on that area. So I couldn't feel when she put the needle in, so there's no pricking feeling. Sometimes you get a little bit of pressure and that's just the product coming in. I was expecting, because it's the eye area, to be super sensitive. It really isn't. I'm thinking it would hurt more to get your lips done. Not that I've gotten my lips done yet, I'm still a big chicken there. It sort of looks like somebody took an iron and just ironed out my wrinkles like it is fantastic so i have a little tiny bruise nothing major that's going to go away in a little bit of time so i'm really not concerned uh, i've got aloe vera on there right now to just bring down some of the red i'm going to put all their contact information down below and you need to go see holly i'm actually going to put her name in there as well because she was utterly fantastic. They are super professional. It's super sanitized in there. They make you feel at home and they knew I was anxious and kind of jittery and they were fantastic. I have to say that's probably some of the best experience I've ever had going to a doctor or a cosmetic clinic or anything like that. So big shout out to Lisser. They were fantastic. Your next check-in with me will be tomorrow morning. I'll see you guys then. So this is my skin the very next day with absolutely no makeup on. I'll do a little close-up. It doesn't hurt. I can take my finger. I can pat all the way around my eye area. Nothing hurts. Nothing swollen. Surprisingly, I kind of thought it would be a little more irritated. It isn't. I also kind of thought maybe you'd feel pressure so your eyes would feel like there was pressure behind them. No. Really no indication I had anything done. Other than that tiny little bruise, which realistically I could cover with concealer if I wanted to. I don't even think I would. Uh, if I'm going to go out, I'm going to wear a mask anyways because of COVID. So it's going to cover most of this. So there's three products that you can use to get injected in the under eye area. Restylane, Juvederm, or Versa. I got Juvederm put in, which is a temporary product. It'll last anywhere between 9 to 12 months. All three 
are a hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is a natural and linear polymer compound. It's a molecule that has up to 6 million Daltons of weight. It attracts water to the area. It's really good in reducing fine lines and wrinkles. So even if you got it done and you didn't like it, you could go back to the place that you got it. They could inject another product to dissolve all of the hyaluronic acid. There's also two methods to inject the product. One is using a needle. The second one is using a cannula. When I was with Holly, who is a nurse, she did say that I have some puffiness under the eye. So I'm not a good candidate for the cannula because they could accidentally put a little bit of product in the puffy area, which I don't want because it'll just accentuate the puffy. So by using the needle, she can put it exactly where she wants and she can totally avoid my, my puffy areas. Before you even go to the procedure, this is the prep that I would recommend. Two days before, start taking the Arnica. The Arnica is an herbal supplement that will help with bruising. Not just for stuff on your face, if you got dental work done, or if you're actually getting surgery, they recommend Arnica for any sort of bruising that you may get because of a procedure. Take it two days prior to your procedure and then two days after. And again, I'll list everything down below in the description box so you can find it. No alcohol consumption two days prior and two days after. No physical activity like going to the gym or working out for the first 24 hours after. I'm going to go 48 just to be on the safe side. I didn't work out the day of my procedure. I'm not working out today and I don't think I'm going to work out tomorrow. If you start to stimulate blood pumping, that's going to make the bruising worse. Drink pineapple juice. There's an enzyme in the pineapple juice that helps with reducing swelling and bruising. It's obviously working because I have practically zero bruising, no swelling, no pain. I'll probably come back around day four and we'll see how the little bruise is doing and see if I still love it. Good morning, everybody. So it is day four and I wanted to do a quick checkup on how my filler was doing. So I have no makeup on. I do have some sunscreen. So you can see that little tiny bruise there. Um, it's gone a little darker. So yesterday it went from blue to black, I'm going to say. And then today it's starting to fade a little bit. But you can see the rest of my eyes look great. You can't see anything. There's no, you know, um, marks or needle marks or other bruises. So yeah, it's looking great. Now it does uh, settle a little bit and that's what she did say. Um, over the next two weeks, it's going to settle. I'm going back on week two to do a checkup to see if I need anything further. Like we could add a little more. I just think it makes me look more youthful and a lot less tired. And trust me, it is first thing in the morning. So I'm not exactly 100% up yet, but I mean, I think it looks fantastic. I was going to show you guys how to cover it up if you wanted to or needed to to go out. My recommendation would be to use something that has a lot of pigment. You don't need a really thick concealer or foundation. A stick foundation will have very good pigment. It'll also have a waxy sort of texture to it because you want something that's going to cover that bruise but also stay for a long period of time. A traditional concealer that's sort of liquidy I don't think will work in this scenario. I would look for a stick foundation or there's the MAC hot concealers that would work really well. So for today I'm going to use my Hourglass Stick Foundation in the shade Shell. I've got a little bit on the brush and I'm just going to tap it gently over that area. And I really didn't use very much but you can see that totally covered up the bruise and again I would tap it in. I would not swipe it. You could take your finger, put a little product on it, and then just tap it into where the bruise is. This was day four, which I think it's looking really good. And I will do a final recap on day seven. So I do have makeup on the perimeter of my face only, nothing under the eye. I was going to film day seven in my get ready room, but under the lights, it's quite bright and it washes me out quite a bit and you can't really see features. So I put a little bit of makeup on to film in there. However, we are having a beautiful day here today. There's a ton of sunshine. So I figured why not? Let's go back in the car and this way I can give you guys more of a close-up of what my under eyes look like. That bruise that I had right here, totally gone. As you can see, I have no bruising on this side and nothing else is over here. I'm going to insert a before and after picture. So now that I've had it for a week, I actually can't remember what my under eyes used to look like. You can still see that I have a bit of line or demarcation for where my orbital bone is. So to me, I don't feel like I look done up or overdone or fake. I just feel like I look more rested and maybe a smidge more youthful. 
So let's talk about price. Price varies on how much you get, the city you live in, the province you live in, the state, the country. So this is based on where I live and the clinic that I went to. Filler is measured in millimeters or cc's. Most places will talk about their units in one syringe and one syringe is one millimeter or one cc of product. So one milliliter of product translates to one fifth of a teaspoon, which doesn't sound like very much. So I I got one syringe total put under both eyes. So my cost was for one syringe, which at this clinic is $700. If you're thinking about getting filler and you're worried like I was about the pain, the bruising, or if you were going to look fake or plastic or all done up, I I'm here to tell you it really wasn't that bad. And I don't feel like my results make me look like I'm not me or it's changed the look of my face. I still think I look like me only better. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Show a little love, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.